Just as pictorial models and motion diagrams are useful in solving problems about motion, similar representations will help you to analyze how forces affect motion. Take the example of a ball tied to a string and sketch the situation to represent the forces acting on that ball. Circle the system and identify every place where the system touches the external world. It is at these places the contact forces are exerted. Identify the contact forces. Then identify any field forces on the system. This gives you the pictorial model. To make the physical representation of forces acting on the ball, Apply the particle model and represent the object with a dot. Represent each force with a blue arrow that points in the direction that the force is applied. Try to make the length of each arrow proportional to the size of the force. Always draw the force arrow pointing away from the particle, even when the force is a push. Make sure that you label each force. Use the symbol F with a subscript label to identify both the agent and the object on which the force is exerted. Finally, choose a direction to be positive and indicate this off to the side of your diagram. Usually, you select the positive direction to be in the direction of the greatest amount of force. This typically makes the problem easiest to solve by reducing the number of negative values in your calculations. This type of physical model, which represents the forces acting on the system, is called a free body diagram.